Hey everyone, in this video, we're going to be talking about one of the lesser known functions in Google Sheets. Well, at least for me, it was unknown. That is the ability to use Google Translate within our Google Sheets directly. This is really cool and allows us to translate large amounts of words and phrases quickly all within Sheets, which is incredibly useful if you're trying to teach yourself a new language or many other applications. So let's get right into this. Let's say your teacher asks you to translate all of these English words into Korean and French. Well, let's begin with Korean. We click on our cell here and type an equal sign, and then Google Translate, and this will call our Google Translate function. Then, as you can see, our first argument that we need to give is text, which is a word or phrase that you wish to have translated. So that is our hello text string to the left of our cell. So let's just click that. Then we add a comma and our second parameter that we are asked for is called the source language. This means the original language our previously selected text is in. So for us, that is English. Clicking on learn more here will give us more information about how to use the Google Translate function in Google Sheets. As you can see here, it tells us to enter in quotation marks the two letter language code. So for English, that is going to be EN. Then we add another comma, and we move to our final parameter, which is target language, meaning the language that we want our text to be translated into. For our first column here, that is Korean, as we said earlier, and the two letter language code for Korean is KO. Adding a final bracket and hitting enter, you can see that our hello string has been converted to Korean. Selecting the cell and double clicking this darker blue square in the bottom right of our cell, we can autocomplete the remainder of our Korean list. Likewise, for our French column, we can actually do the same thing. However, the only difference is that our target language will now be FR for French. And again, we can autocomplete the rest of the table like so. Like we said earlier, we can also do phrases through this function. So let's try that. Let's go to our hello cell and change from hello to hello, my name is Bob. Then hitting enter, you can see our cells that we're targeting the cell are updated. I'm just going to select the columns C and D and drag them over. And now we can see that the whole phrase has been translated. Additionally, if you're strictly looking to translate some words into your language, the one that Google recognizes you're using, you can just select the text as your sole argument. And as you can see, this phrase will now be converted back to English. This is because in the translate function, you can omit the source and target languages and they will just auto detect and assume that you want it in your default language. I hope that you enjoyed this video and it helped your understanding of how we can convert between various languages in Google Sheets. If you enjoyed, please like, subscribe, and consider checking out our YouTube memberships by clicking that join button down below. However, if you have any comments, questions, or concerns about the information I provided in this video, please leave a comment down below and I will do my best to address your concerns.